Hello everybody, my name is Marwan and I am Senior Publisher and Advertiser Manager at AdCash. And today I will be showing you what AdCash Publisher platform is all about. At the end of this video, you will have a full understanding of how to efficiently monetize your website. So today we will be checking the AdCash Publisher platform. Overall, we will go through the different tabs that we have in the platform and we will try to understand also all the tools that we have. So let's get started. The first view is the home tab, where basically we have some summary information about different things like our current balance, the earnings of the last 30 day, a chart with, uh, that shows us the evolution of the last wallet earnings in the last seven days, and uh, some extra information that can drive you to our blog basically and where you can read more about, about ad cash features, tools and different stuff. The second tab is the zones. If we try to open it, as you can see here, we will see two sub tabs where we basically have my zones and also create a new zone. My zones will basically have all our zones listed and the create new zone is where we can create a new zone that can be a pop under, banner, interstitial, in page push or whatever we want. First thing would be to choose the website we want. And once we have it, then we have two options. Whether we want to take the auto tag, which is highly recommended because as you can see here, guys, it's described as one single piece of code that contains our top performing ad formats, pop, interstitial, and in page push. And these ads basically will be rotated automatically for maximum earnings. So basically you will get three ad formats in rotation. It's a three in one solution, totally automated, where you can maximize your profits. The second option, if you don't wanna go with the auto tag and instead, for example, you just wanna take a ad block pop under tag, then you simply have to click on choose manually the tags and choose the ad format that you want. If you go with pop under, for example, do not forget to always take the anti ad block tag. Then let's go with the next tab, which is the statistics. Here for statistics, you can see that we have statistics and reporting API. I won't really go into reporting API because it's a more advanced feature. And if someone needs it, in this case, you will uh, most likely need to contact with your account manager. Even though if you click here, a new tab will open and you will be sent to a support document. Uh, but I won't really go, go into details there. More important for, for, for us and for the regular, let's say, publishers is the statistics tab. Um, something that I would like to mention is that the, this tool is pretty powerful. You can break down per as many different uh, elements as you want. Like you can see here, site, zone, country, date, week, month, device type, and even uh, the sub one and two in case uh, you need them. And then also you can choose here the time frame. You can also add filters and choose an additional grouping here. Something very important, and let's do an example here, if, is if you basically uh, take different, let's say, for example, if you decide to take uh, different ad formats, um, let's say that you are testing pop and interstitial, it's always good to check the CPM separately. So let's say that we are checking as per an example here, the last seven days, and we are checking the zone, the, the zones that we have. Uh, here I can see that, for example, the pop under mobile is having this unique uh, RPM and the desktop is having this one. But in this case, for example, we don't have an interstitial, but if you have an interstitial, ideally the best thing would be to see it in this way. What would happen if instead of this, for example, we would check it per date? Well, if we t check it per date, like in this case, we can see the RPM, but we won't be able to know what is the, the ad format that is given to us, for example, the biggest RPM, or what is a common issue among the publishers 
they come to us many times complaining about low RPMs when basically they simply did not know how to check it properly because they have been uh, checking the RPM of the pop and the RPM of the banner or another ad format that obviously and clearly has a lower RPM and what they make is the sum up or the average of these two ad formats which you basically cannot compare especially when, you, when it comes to RPMs so an advice from my side guys always take the ad format separately and try to check per zone then uh, the payment tab I won't really go into details here since we have a dedicated video for payments you can go and check it out on on our channel uh, but for you to to know we have a section for the payment request one for the wallet statement where you can see all the the changes day per day as you can see here and one for for the invoices that has been generated then the referral program basically here it tells you that you can share your personal uh, referral URL, uh, invite your friends that have also a website to join AdCash, and basically you will be earning a lifetime commission out of this referral program. Last, the settings part. So here you have account details, which is basically personal information. The second tab is about account security. In this case, we are talking about um, Google Authent Authenticator and different stuff like that. And the last part is the websites. Uh, from here, you can also add the website if you need a new website. So many times I see uh, publishers asking in, uh, in the questions of YouTube videos, sometimes coming back to us, to the account managers and asking us, where can I add a website? Well, it's as simple as coming to settings, websites, and clicking on add website. So basically this is all. There is a support part that you can always use. Well, and this has been all for today. Thanks for watching our video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any news from AdCash or the ad tech industry. If you have any comments, please drop a comment below or write an email to contact at adcash.com. Until the next time.